African Americans comprise a large portion of the population of the United States. This population can be regarded as a proper ethnicity, with its own dialect, culture, and a very complicated origin. Today, we will try to discuss their origin and genetics. African Americans historically have been subject to discrimination and outright violence, and this discrimination continues to this day. This is relevant to understanding the genetics of African Americans, as certain social phenomena in the United States have shaped the genetics of African Americans to be what they are today. One such social phenomena is slavery. In the 17th to 19th century South, the economy pretty much relied on slavery and plantations. It was common for Southern plantation owners to impregnate their black female slaves. In this model of admixture, the quote-unquote father would almost always be of colonial Anglo-Saxon stock and male, whereas the mother would always be of African descent. The child resulting from this admixture would end up assimilating into the black or slave population because the white society wouldn't accept mixed kids as their own. This way, the European population stayed more or less pure, but the African population ended up getting all mixed up. According to Family Tree DNA statistics, around 40% of African Americans carry European Y DNA because of this phenomenon. This isn't reflected in the autosomal DNA, however, as African Americans from the Deep South only carry around 15% of European autosomal DNA. A lot of folks will say that all European admixture in African Americans is due to slavery, and that is just inaccurate, at least in regards to the Northern states. If we look at the pattern of African American ancestry through the states, we will notice that in those states which were less racist and more liberal historically, the African Americans have a higher amount of European admixture. What this means is that a major portion of European admixture in African Americans came through mutual intermixing, not force or violence. Of course, we have to think back to racist social structures that existed even in the North that would prevent a mixed-race kid from truly assimilating with the white population. These mixed-race kids had a much easier time identifying with the community that does accept them, which is the African-American community. And so, as a result, we end up seeing the average African-American from uh, Washington only carrying 66% African ancestry, West Virginia 64, Wisconsin 71, and so on and so forth. West Virginia may seem like an outlier in this case, as it is a southern state, but keep in mind that this state has historically been a stronghold for abolitionists and civil rights advocates. Uh, the state had the first successful lawsuit challenging segregated schools in the nation in 1896. I'm talking about Plessy versus Ferguson. It has never really been comparable to the Deep South in terms of racism and bigotry. When it comes to African-American mitochondrial lineages, they actually reveal a lot about the African ancestry of African-Americans, as in where exactly in Africa they come from. Haplogroups are not really a good way to find out where you come from on an individual level, but on a group level, they can reveal a lot about the population and its history. A 2021 study focusing on the Gula sub-ethnos of African Americans in North Carolina found that the majority of their mitochondrial lineages match those most common in West Central Africa and Senegambia. This is consistent with what we know about the origin of African slaves in America. Mostly they were purchased from West Central Africa, Senegambia, and and the Ivory Coast. In conclusion, African Americans are a vibrant and diverse ethnic group in the United States, descended from enslaved people brought over from Africa centuries ago. Their history is marked by struggle and resilience, overcoming slavery and segregation to achieve significant contributions in all aspects of American life. From music and literature to science and politics, African Americans have enriched the cultural fabric of the nation. Today, they continue to fight for equality and celebrate their unique heritage. Thanks for watching my video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it goodbye